Hello everybody and welcome back. We are here for week 17 of the hashtag Altered Index 2024 challenge. This is the challenge that I host in my Facebook group, Nonstop Paper Crafts, um, and it's also hosted in the junk journaling for everyone Facebook group. Each week I am altering an index card and I am using three prompts to kind of inspire my creativity. So this week we have the prompts Rainbow, we have Transform and Heart. So they're the three prompts for this week. Uh, so as usual I have gathered some bits. Now this was a bit of a head scratcher with the Transform word in there. Uh, but I think I've come up with quite a fun creative idea. Um, I'm also using a lot of sort of brighter colours. So a lot of my other ones have been um, probably the traditional style that I do. They're quite vintage, quite, I don't know, floral, that kind of a thing. So I thought I'd go for something a little bit different this time. So to create mine, um, I've already done my tab. So I've got week 17's tab there already. Um, I've got some words again as you know I've been using a lot of these sticker sheets of the words so I'm going to be using that in here as well. Um, I've got a few of these people stickers so I'm going to use her in there as well. I've got a little bit of this textured paper. Uh, but for the main part because we've got rainbow in there um, and heart so I've got a picture of a rainbow that I have chopped down to size. Um, I've also got these strips which are two inches by four inches and I'll show you what I'm going to do with those in just a second. I've cut down some smaller colourful bits of paper that are two by two and I've got some book page to help with the background. So I think the first thing is just to try and get all of these bits and pieces together. Uh, I only need one index card and then, as I say, I think I'm going to stick this down just so this is going to be covering up the bulk of the background. There will be uh, something going on in the middle, which I will show in a second. I'm just trying to figure out. It doesn't matter if these overlap because you're not going to see these, so that bit doesn't matter. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick these down like that first, just so the background of the index card is done. Right, okay, so I'm just going to trim off the back. And there's just a teeny little bit up that end. Right, okay, so that's the base of it done. Right, so for transform, um, I've done this before in one of my explosion boxes and I thought it, it's a nice way to kind of show a transformation from one picture to the next. So what you need to do is basically really um, burnish down these folds because you want them to lay as flat as possible. Um, and then what you're going to do is just try and figure out... Now they need to be laying in different directions and I'll explain the different directions in a second. 
I'm just trying to kind of line these up so they are in the middle. Now it doesn't have to be dead centre, that bit doesn't really matter. Um, however, I obviously do need to think about where my tab is going to be. Yeah, so I think my tab's going to be over this side, so that's fine. Okay, so what I've got is this one is going to be folding down. I'm going to glue the back of this bit. So I'm just gluing that. I'm going to use this one, like I said, just to help me kind of line it up so it's roughly in the middle. So about there. I'm just making sure that's straight, which at the moment it isn't. Oops. Okay, so I've got that one. Right, then, so this one at the moment just folds down. This one we're going to stick so that it folds outwards like you would a greeting card so this one's going to get stuck next to it okay so that gets stuck there the next one is going to get stuck the opposite way that we would have a card so it's going to go that way goes on the bottom and then this one is going to stuck, get stuck so it lifts up Okay, so you end up with a essentially a four by four square in the middle with all bits that kind of lift in different directions. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut this piece into four so that I can stick them on the front of each of these uh, there. So this is currently cut to four by four, so I'm just going to cut it so it is two by two. try and lay them down in the order that they are. I mean we've only got four pieces so it's not going to be too complicated to put back together. Okay so that's those pieces so they're just going to get stuck on there. So I'm just going to do that for each of these. So that's that one, just make sure it still folds down, you haven't interfered with that fold. Okay, so then we have that piece. I thought this would just be so much fun because like I said, I usually do kind of vintage and floral, so it was nice to do something a little bit sort of brighter and different so that's that one on there my hands are absolutely covered in glue I've been working on a different project and yeah I am covered And 
last piece then. last piece goes in there so we have a picture of a rainbow now here comes the transform part so each of these obviously lift in a different direction so all you do is move them over and this is why you have to be careful that they weren't interfering with your folds uh, yeah, so that one folds that way that one goes that way so now that you've kind of folded them over each one another so they're now overlapping you now have essentially another picture so it's transformed from the um, rainbow to this new picture so this is where I'm going to be doing these so I obviously need to get the word heart in there or the theme heart so I've got a few more sort of rainbowy type papers so I was thinking of putting some of these in here. I also want this girl, though I might need to trim her down ever so slightly. I'm just going to use one of these as a guide since these are two by two by two. So if I hold that there. So like that she should fit on one of those excellent right so do i want a background with her she is quite pink so maybe not a pink background we've got a blue that one looks a bit better doesn't it so let's pop that one down This is a sticker, so I'm going to use my weeding tool just to help me unpick because I am rubbish at stickers. Okay, so we've got her there. I'm going to have those two there and then maybe in the purple right for this one I was thinking I've got a little heart punch I'm punching out a little heart in the corner like that um, so let's get those stuck down. And then the last one can go there. Right, so we've got that. And then with the words, what did we have? I saw this one, love with all your heart. then it actually mentions the word heart.
Okay, so love with all your heart. We've got her. I think I might look harder having that on there. But yeah, so we've got those. And what's quite nice about it is you do still have some journaling space if you want to, because you can obviously journal on those pieces. And then all you do is you just fold it back round. So that one folds that way. And then you've got your original picture of the rainbow. So that's my transform. So it goes from one picture to the next. And yeah, I really quite like that. So you can choose which picture that you want, but it has the rainbow element, it has heart, and it has transform. Now we just need to stick on the tab. So this is my template. So I'm gonna to have to move this over. So that this can slide on there. Okay, so there is your number 17. So as I said, you can alternate between two pictures. I think I'm going to leave it on that one because I really quite like that one. Um, but there is the altered index card. So just a reminder, we had heart, transform and rainbow. So I've got rainbow colours on there as well as the rainbow picture on the other side. Uh, we've got love with all your heart. And it's just a fun way to kind of play around and do something a little bit different but we've got the rainbow then on that side as well well i hope you enjoyed this challenge this week as i said it was a little bit of a head scratcher for me to begin with but i think once i thought of um, doing this mechanism to transfer the pictures or transform sorry the pictures um yeah i think it came together quite easily so i'm really happy with that Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you're going to post your own makes, to use the hashtag, hashtag alteredindex2024. Go and check out all of the other posts. Um, there are a few in the Facebook group, also on Instagram. Uh, some people are doing their own videos where they're showing their own processes on their YouTube channels. So just use that hashtag and you'll be able to find everybody. But this is week 17. Thank you very much, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.